Welcome to this Power Up webinar, taking a look at image editing and image repair using Adobe Photoshop 2021. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan, and I am delighted to have you with us. Before we even start, two quick notes. Photoshop is a massive application, which means that you don't need to understand everything about the app to be able to use it successfully. And second, you don't have to be an artist to get creative work done in Photoshop and showing you how we can use Photoshop to repair images is what today is all about. Let me share an excerpt of this webinar with you. In this short video tutorial, I'll illustrate different ways to clean up a still image, including crop, scale, content-aware fill, and straightening an image, all in Adobe Photoshop. Let's talk crop versus scale. Here's the big difference. This toolbar over here has the tools in it that we use, and the cropping tool is this one. And we click it to select it. It sets a bounding box around the image. Here, the river is the focus of this photograph because it's so big, it pulls your eyes in. And you look at all the rest of the stuff in support of the river. But I want to emphasize this mountain peak thrusting through the clouds. So we're going to recrop the picture to minimize the river, keep the mountain right about there, and press the return key. Two things happened at once. One, just that portion contained inside the crop rectangle was retained. And number two, the image is smaller. It used to be 2,100 pixels. It's now 900 pixels. So cropping always eliminates pixels. That's what you use it for, to get rid of stuff you don't need. And it changes the composition of the picture. Command Z to bring it back. Scaling, on the other hand, Go up to Image, Image Size, Keyboard Shortcut, which I use all the time because I do it so much, is Option, Command, I. It opens up a dialog. It says, well, what size do you want it? I want to have this be 1,000 pixels. And because the lock is connected, it keeps the aspect ratio. If I unclick the lock, it would stretch it. So keep that clicked. And notice it sets to buy cubic sharper to retain the perceived focus of the image and click OK. Now, my entire image shrinks. It's not a smart object, it's a raster object. So if I blow this back up, the quality is going to be bad. But as long as I'm scaling up, going down, and by cubic sharper is turned on, the perception of focus is going to be retained. Scaling retains the entire image, where cropping keeps a portion of the image. And I use both in my daily work. We have another option. Let's go back here. If I go back to the crop tool, here's a cool feature. Let's say I want to take this image and post it to Instagram. Instagram, as you know, is a more square application, something about like that. So I want to change the aspect ratio of this picture. Well, if I just stretch it, it's going to look awful. So there's a new feature called Content Aware that when you check it and press the return key, Photoshop starts thinking about this image. It says, what can I fill that area with? And realizes it's got the clouds to work with. So it fills the new portion of the image with clouds. Look at that. And the way it fills is slightly different. The way it filled it this morning looked a little bit different than the way it did this afternoon. So let's just try this again. Crop. Select crop and pull this up. Maybe not quite so high. Content aware and press return. And let it think for just a moment. And look at that. It stretched the image by expanding the clouds and expanding the sky. And you look at that and you say, whoa, that went from a rectangle to a square. And nobody is going to be able to tell the difference of where the real photograph ended and the new photograph begins, which, granted, from an ethical point of view, may be something we can talk about. But from a technical point of view, is pretty darn cool. That's what we can do in terms of cropping versus scale. But there's more in terms of just simple image handling. Let me illustrate with straightening an image. We're going to see this picture twice. First, I want to straighten it. And then I want to, we'll do repair on this a little later. This is what the well-dressed and fashionable college girl wore in 1909. I can't even begin to imagine. Later, we're going to go back and repair this image and clean it up. But for right now, I want to straighten it. There's two ways that we can straighten it. First, I can go to this eyedropper tool. See this small little 
triangle thing here, that indicates there's a submenu. When you click and hold the tool, we can see subtools inside it. If I select the ruler tool and find something that's supposed to be horizontal or supposed to be vertical and draw a ruler line for that image and click the straighten layer, it straightens the image that easily. Except there's now pieces of the image missing right here along the edge, which we'll talk about more throughout the day. But the image is straight. The ruler tool allows me to select something which is supposed to be horizontal or supposed to be vertical and straighten it by clicking a button. By the way, notice the horse-drawn carriage back here. So, oh, here's an example. Here's the sunset, and it's going uphill to the right. I can straighten it by using the ruler tool and just dragging a line across the horizon that's supposed to be straight and say straighten layer, and you can see where the image doesn't exist. Well, if I just want to crop into the middle of this, I could do that and not worry about it. But what happens if I want to preserve the entire image? Go back to the crop tool, and this time I'm going to start to rotate the crop tool, and the grid that pops up allows me to see when that horizon line is level. But I also am checking content aware. When I press the return key, not only does it rotate the image so that it's level, but it also thinks about how it can fill in those areas with the existing parts of the image, just like it did when we stretched the top of the crop, it selects the image and says, okay, let's fill this in. And look at this. Poof. You'd never notice where that edge was filled in because Content Aware takes the image just below it and stretches it to fit. Now, this won't work with things like fine patterns or people. They'll come out looking pretty awful. But when you've got a, a generic background, it looks great. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on image editing and repair using Adobe Photoshop. For the complete version of this online training, please visit my store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 316. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.